Hi, my name is Jean-Christophe. I'm an interior designer and French furniture specialist. I would love to show you this home where I did a lot of design and work. It is not far from the Sydney coast and it's a beautiful Hampton style home. Come with me. So here we are in the lounge and family room. This home is filled with the light Sydney and Australia is so well known for. This very large buffet is the focus and the center where the TV, the fireplace and the back here are put some LED lights and painted the inside in a soft cream. It can be put very softly giving a diffused lighting. The fireplace with its classical Hamptons, mouldings and panelling becomes the centrepiece. And the cabinets are all matching to this style. Let me show you this beautiful kitchen. It's in one of my favorite colors and it was recently painted. It was white and we've changed it. A kitchen isn't simply a functional place to cook and sometimes eat. It is very much the hub, the center of family, social and couples life, which is why the way this has been designed is to allow for people to sit and chat and converse. It's so that the function of the kitchen is designed in such a way to support and enhance interaction and the harmony within the home. So here it is, a very classic French Hamptons kitchen. What's the difference you say? The French is more about ornamentation, curves, and a bit of a quirky touch. It is also about neoclassical, bringing the traditional proportions and classical elements of ancient Greece and Roman modernized. Whereas Hampton takes that stylization, that simplification a step further. And here it is with some very, very nice detail the double pyramid, the mouldings, the details on the sides, on the columns have all been studied to give it a really beautifully elegant quality but at the same time a certain simplicity, an understated quality while having a huge richness of detail. I love it here, the triple panel at the top You'll notice the top panel is larger and that creates a sense of both balance but also it shows that the center is more important and then on the sides you have the mirror. I love all these angles. For me a kitchen should be as closely as possible resembling a piece of furniture. A lot of modern kitchen have a somewhat soulless quality and the reason is that everything is flat monoplane whereas here you have all these angles you have a flat recessed panel the molding the raised column and here you have this return and what that does you can see it up there and in here there is just so much detail so many little nooks and crannies, so many little alcoves. And I think that reflects the spirit of the difference between a house and a home. We've added these aged brass handles and we wanted something also that was classical, friendly, and to bring a little bit of warmth, so we opted for an antique bronze finish. This is a butler sink 
and I really like it in kitchen, try to avoid stainless steel as much as possible. And so this ceramic sink, the traditional butler sink here, and I love these column details. And you can see that the marble here has been cut in such a way that it creates a corner. And again, it is about adding that extra detail. The other thing that's really good here, when I stand here, I love for there to be a window because I think it's great for the person washing up that they can look out, they can daydream a little bit. And on the other side of the little courtyard is a mirror. So I can actually see also what is behind me. One of the things that I really like, again, is the detail. I even like it at the bottom there is open with that little Baroque inspired shape. And we have the fluted columns. And here, in order to give some depth to the kitchen, one of the things I like to do is to put glass cabinets. And I like these small panes because again, it gives that cottagey feel. I like to also integrate open sections. You can put cookbooks or some decorations, some vases. And that's what creates a kitchen that isn't just a block. If you look at these drawers, you can see that they're solid timber in two different tones with beautiful contrasting dovetails. And dovetails are the hallmark of fine craftsmanship. When I design kitchen, I often use internally, if it is melamine, a different color. Let's say for a white kitchen, I would use maybe a French blue, cream, or an even stronger color. So when you open the cabinet, you get this lift, you get this wow moment. It is always a lovely surprise when you open a cabinet and the inside is different. In this case, this is a beautiful veneer timber that has been used and even the shelf and the adjustable system is small brass ferrules. This is where the detail elevates the kitchen to a new level. The other great thing about this kitchen is the size of the stove. It is a traditional stove and a very large hood. A large kitchen island really allows you to have a lot of space for preparation, for displaying, and I really think that a lot of deep drawers work really well for storage. And the other thing that a kitchen island does, it creates a central focus. You'll see here the cut corner detail and the lamb's tongue molding. Often case in kitchen, the fridge is not the most attractive and tends to detract, which is why I prefer to use integrated fridges like this one. And it becomes part of the cabinetry. And this is a twin fridge with a freezer at the bottom. And we've allowed it to be a little bit deeper within a recess here for the pantry. As part of a kitchen, it's also really important to have a breakfast bar, a place where you can have a quick meal. And here, there is this little peninsula where you can sit, you can chat to the person who's cooking, and you can eat without being too far. One of the things I like about these lights is that the angles and the shape mirror the moldings and the angle of the shape in the kitchen. And the dark bronze finish is also a great contrast. This storage pantry has some lovely features up there. 
instead of having transparent glass, another way to create a sense of depth and to make large cabinet less imposing and blocky, we can use mirrors. In this case, this is like an antique mottled mirror and it softens the whole cabinet. Inside here, beautifully fitted a bar. In contrasting dark timbers, everything you need for that relaxing pre-dinner drink. So this is the lounge room in this lovely Hamptons home. And you can see all the designs here. There's a lot of white, fine detail, and yet a certain simplicity, a certain refined elegance. This room is also the cinema room. Another element I like about this room is the rug with this geometric pattern. And you can see how one of the main features of the study with its dark wall is a painting reproduction. And you can see it's a very dramatic feature, a large reproduction of Vermeer's girl with a pearl earring. So in this study, one of the things I love about this art feature is the huge size of the face and the eyes. And our brain is geared to focus and respond to human faces and eyes right as infants. So this feature creates a dynamic and livening quality to the room. And here we made some cabinets and some shelving. And in order to balance out and bring a little bit of a soft light, a bit of ambient lighting, I put some uh, LED light strips underneath each shelf. And especially at night, with its soft glow, it creates a lovely feel. In this master bedroom, the customers wanted a design that was a little bit more modern while still having some classical Hamptons quality. So I designed this bed head in this very large bed and it's covered in velvet and I've put some details of piping and borders and a little wing return. And they've also asked me to have some mirror and mirror bedsides. So the colors are a combination of the blue, of the black legs. This matches the design that we did on the bed and stool. And the bedsides are sort of like a 1940s uh, Parisian bedside with mirrored surfaces. One of the exciting elements about this design is the curves. So we have a curve on the bed head and the curve as it were continues with the mirrors which are beveled edge and have this continuing curve. I wanted the bedroom to have some of this softness to balance out the straight lines and the black leg and the lines of the mirrors. The bedside lamps, which are marble and a bit of brass, work really well with this 1940s French inspired theme. On the other side of the wall is a very large mirror with the same hump 
shape at the top so that everything marries together. I also love the more classical touch of this cherry wood French provincial Bombay chest of drawers. So it's possible in a house to marry the French, the Hamptons, the 40s, the more modern style. And what brings it all together is a harmony of lines and relationship between different elements, creating this elegant and refined quality. I really enjoy designing with different styles, bringing different eras and designed elements together. What binds them together is quality of craftsmanship and designs that work in harmony with each other. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe as there'll be much more soon.